38 past the hour. Now to some breaking news on the health of Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Joining us now, NBC News senior White House correspondent Gabe Gutierrez. Gabe, good morning. What do we know? Uh, hi there, Jose. Good morning. Well, we just uh, received word that uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has been released from the hospital. We're just getting this statement just a few uh, moments ago from the Secretary of Defense and as well from his doctors. And the secretary says, I'm grateful for the excellent care that I received at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. I want to uh, thank the outstanding doctors. Uh, as I continue to recuperate and perform, perform my duties from home, I'm eager to fully recover. Now, his doctors uh, say that uh, he was released, that his prostate cancer was treated early and effectively, and that his prognosis is excellent. He has no plan further treatment for his cancer other uh, than uh, some surveillance. So, Jose, of course, this comes after the defense secretary was hospitalized for about two weeks. Uh, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer in early December, but it has received a lot of criticism from not only not notifying the White House, but notifying the public. Late last week, President Biden said that it was a lapse in judgment for the defense secretary not to alert the White House of the diagnosis, but that he still has full confidence in the defense secretary. And uh, Lloyd Austin, of course, oversaw those strikes in Yemen last week from his hospital bed. But again, Jose, the breaking news is just a short time ago, we received a statement from Lloyd Austin, Austin saying that he has been released from the hospital and plans to continue working from home.